if you start accelerating, you can infuse within the same lifetime vehicle expression, multiple lifetimes worth of lessons and expressions. Whereas if you are completely oblivious from birth on onward till your death, you might have to take 10 lives just like that to express one life's worth of lessons and expansion. But since you are all here, I take it that you are paying attention, at least to some extent. So that is good. That is applaudable. That is great. That's beautiful. And I thank you. I thank you for listening. And I thank you for opening up to spirit, to higher wisdom, to resonance, to what feels good, and to an extent to what I have to share. I appreciate that. Purity, service, and balance helps to achieve higher states of focus and union more easily. What do I mean by purity and service? Let's just focus on purity. I think I've dealt with the service aspect. Purity and balance. What is purity? Purity can be experienced as the immediate result, as the immediate effect that the intention to be pure has on your consciousness. Simply that. Just intend to be the highest purity you can be. What would that look like? What would that feel like? Imagine that. Again, this is like any other thing, realization, goal, or vibration. It's all vibratory states of consciousness. It's all consciousness generating a different frequency experience of itself. That's all you'll ever experience is consciousness having a particular frequency experience of itself. It's all you can ever experience. There is no exceptions. Enlightenment is not outside of these rules. Materialism is not outside of these rules. It's all consciousness vibrating, experiencing itself. You can never experience matter. You can only experience what you have to say about it. Have you ever noticed that? You never experience the actual thing or the actual car or the actual house. You only experience your belief about how good or bad that is. Oh, this is an amazing house. You feel amazing. Oh, this is a terrible house. You feel terrible. The house is not terrible. The house is not amazing. You only ever experience what you say it is. And it's always what you say it is. Because physicality is nothing but an empty smoke and mirrors reflection of your state of being. So all there is, is consciousness having a frequency state of being experience of itself. And the state of being can be, I would say manipulated, but I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, it can be controlled, it can be mastered, it can be understood. When you start to understand how consciousness and frequency works, life suddenly becomes much more enjoyable. It becomes a game that's under your control. And by control, I mean it in the most holistic possible way. Control is another word for me as alignment. We only think we need control. We only are needy for control if we don't believe we have it, you see? Once we know that we're in complete control of how we feel, how we think, how we experience life, if we know that we are masters of our own creation, of our own state of being, then suddenly there is no need for control. There is no need for controlling. There is no need for manipulating in that sense. We only need to do these things as compensations for not knowing that we're in control. That's why we need to absolutely know that we are in control. It's the only way we can live as peaceful, pure beings of light. You have to know you're in control. Whenever you, you feel disempowered, you're going to express that some ways, in some ways. It's what we could call the ego effect. It's not an actual thing, it's an effect. You put water and sunshine together, you get the rainbow. Pull away one of these two, the rainbow no longer exists. Ego does not exist. It's an effect. It's an effect. You generate it or you don't generate it. It's not something that lingers that you need to deal with. Oh, I have this ego here. There's no ego anywhere. It's an effect. Stop generating one of the qualities or one of the ingredients that that recipe we call the ego effect needs and the whole ego effect is gone. No trace. Sure, it may be regenerated, but then you regenerate the effect. It's not actually there when you're not creating it. So there's not two of you. There's not you consciousness and then you the ego. Does that make sense? There's only you consciousness either generating an ego effect within its consciousness or not generating an ego effect and generating whatever it desires. Here's the irony. If you choose only what you desire, if you choose only to feel how you desire to feel and express yourself as you desire to express yourself and generate or go for the things that you truly resonate with, there is no space left in your consciousness to generate the compensating substitute servant because that comes from unconsciousness. It comes from giving away your power. It comes from not owning your reality. 